Hello and welcome to a Film Exologist. On today's episode, what I'm going to be talking about is about uh, problems with rough idling on carburetors with cars with small engines, 1.1 litre, 1.6 litres, all the way up to 2 litres probably. And I'm going to be talking about what causes the problem and ways that you can fix it. So, Without further ado, I've got a selection of carburetors here, so I'm, so I'm going to show you. Um, so this is a Zenith 30iZ that, that I'm working on, and this is the um, carb that goes on this uh, Aquaplane Marine Manifold that I've got here. <coughs> and this is the one that I'm going to use to show you what the problem is. But first of all, before I do that, what I, what I need to do is uh, I want to show you some other examples of carburetors that typically have this problem. So you've got the good old SU carbs. They generally tend to have this problem as well. And and what it is is that the basically when you have a bronze spindle like this one on a aluminium body the the bronze tends to wear out the aluminium and creates a leak a vacuum leak around the spindle right here and therefore that's uh, or it could be on this side as well so therefore that's what what causes well, what causes very rough idling in in this carburetors and, and other small carburetors so i'll show you an extreme example a little bit close up now of when a carburetor is in really bad condition yeah so I've got let me move this out of the way so I've got this units here let me see if you can see it is this one so let me let me try to see if you can see it from there I hope you can can you see can you see in here a moving you can see that the, the spindle is moving. You see, it's completely flopping. Uh, hopefully you can see it there. Okay, so this is pretty bad. This is probably a, a, an example of, of just how bad. And if you, and here you can see it, you can see it slightly better. Look at this. Okay, so when a carb gets to be in this condition it absolutely will never work so obviously this unit is going to need a lot of work so let's park it there on the side for a minute there is no one way that you can um the, the that you can partially fix this and you can see it in this unit here this basically has a plug on one side of the throttle shaft so the throttle shaft goes in like this but the other side here is plugged so therefore you're minimizing the vacuum leaks on here uh, and actually this this unit is, is more or less okay so this is this is one way that you can that you can fix it now let's get back to the unit that I'm working on now which is this 30 I said so the problem is that if um, I'm going to try and see it if you can see it from there there is play here you see I'm trying to rock it back and forth and if I do the same here there is there is a bit of play in there so <coughs> what I'm going to do essentially <coughs> is I'm going to I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna put a bronze bushing um, let me show you there bronze bushing so basically no, not this one because it's a different size but I've ordered the correct size so basically what I'm going to do in uh, in, in in the next segment of the video is I'm gonna put this on on the pillar drill and I'm gonna secure it and then I'm gonna cut in about nine millimeters deep with this reamer and then I'm going to install a, uh, a, a correctly sized uh, bronze bushing 
so then I will be able to reinstall the the shaft like so and it won't leak so um, in the, in the next part of the video I'm gonna show you how do I go about that and what's the process for rebushing the throttle shaft okay so as you can see here I've got this unit kind of buttoned down here I've got kind of clamps on this side and it's clamped this side and what I've got here as you can see I've got this shaft which is the same diameter and I'm using this shaft as a pilot so if you can see there because what I need to do is ensure that this the cut that I'm going to make is strictly parallel between those two because if not I can make cut here and it would and it wouldn't work so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to the reamer and I'm going to make a nine millimeter cut through here so I will be checking with my uh, with my with my caliper to make sure that it's nine millimeters Okay, so let me show you here the end result of this fix. Look, now before it was moving, now it isn't. It isn't moving at all, uh, which is very good. Means that this side is fixed. Um, so therefore, that's kind of that. That's the technique, really. That's the technique you use to make sure that the carburetor, that the shaft, uh, doesn't leak. So now this car is fixed, and now <laughs> I need to obviously build up all the rest of it, but. I think for, for this episode, this is going to come to an end, and I'll see you on the next episode then. Bye!